Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Brad Procrastinates from doing his physics homework by making a video. Today on Brad Procrast... Today on Brad Procrastinates from doing his homework by making a video, I'm going to teach you how to draw Celtic knots. Now Brad, you may be thinking, what's a Celtic knot? Well, I'll show you. The Celtic knot is an art design that we got from the Irish, hence Celtic. And it's basically a mass of intertwining ribbons that shows the complexity and sinuousness of human nature. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's actually just a bunch of lines that looks cool, and you can draw them on the backs of tests and stuff on your board. This right here is the simplest Celtic knot, uh, three by three. Just ignore all the peace signs and hearts. This is my sister's, not mine, I swear. And so Celtic knots can range anywhere in complexity from a simple three by three like this to something like this. Yes, I was really bored. Brad, you're thinking now, show us how to draw one of these. Okay. Basically what you want to do is start out with a dot grid. So if you're just doing a simple 3x3, you do 3 dots by 3 dots. If you're doing a 4x4, four, 4 four dots by 4 dots. Doing a 15x15, 15, 15, 15 dots by 15 dots. And they don't have to be squares either. You can do 4 dots by 3 dots, 8 dots by 16 dots, 5 dots by 80 dots. The only thing that doesn't work is doing a dot number less than 3. Because if you have 2 dots on a side, it won't end up working well. You'll see why. So now we have the dot grid. And what you'll do next is find all the squares that the dots make. For example, there's a square right here, a square here, a square here, and a square there. So you're going to put dots in the middle of those squares. So that should look something like this. And now this is the point where you basically play connect the dots and crack. It's kind of like connect the dots. It's kind of like that game. Except instead of connecting the dots, you kind of don't want to connect the dots. You'll, you might notice that now that you have the dots inside the squares, you now have diamonds. Like, these. Don't actually connect the dots, I was just doing that to show you. What you are then going to do is draw lines inside the diamonds, like this. You draw two lines like that that are parallel and on opposite sides of the diamonds. You alternate for each row. Like the first row, there's only one full diamond, so you do that with the line. It doesn't really matter which side of the diamonds, which sides of the diamonds you do. And then the second row of diamonds, there's two in this row, you put them on the other sides so that they kind of intersect like that. And then the third row, the single diamond in the third row, should just be the same as the top row. Until you're left with something that vaguely resembles this. And if you had a bigger cup of knot, you'd do this for all of the insides and leave the outsides by themselves. Now after the insides, the next thing to do is the corners. And you'll notice that there's four corners since this is a square. So we're going to draw the lines out like that, and connect the corners, and it'll kind of look like a swastika at this point. Then you connect the corners to the other ribbon, like this. And now the last thing to do is to do the inside lines of the ribbons, and you, you curve them around the dots right here, around the dots right there. All said and done, it should look like that. And congratulations, you've just drawn your first Celtic knot. If you want to, you can just leave it like this. Or I know some people like to get fancy and color in the holes so that it looks more shaded. And now just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you how to draw a 4x4 Celtic knot doing step by step. Step 1. Dots. Step 2. Other dots. Three, demented game of connect the dots. Step four, swastika corners. Step five, connecting the corners. Step six, inside ribbons of corners. Step seven, outside edges. And step eight, inside outside edges. You know what I mean. And coloring if you want. And that's pretty much it. Now that you know how to do that, you should be able to draw Celtic knots of any size. And you can also put them different shapes too. Like if you wanted to draw one in the shape of an owl. Like, not a very good one, but you get the idea. Or you could also try putting walls in the middle of your knot. I know people like to do that. Basically a wall is when you connect two of your dots, like so. And then you basically do the Celtic knot around that wall and treating it as an outside edge. 
So you you do the inside connect the dot thing like that, and then and then at the wall you would just kind of curve it around it, curve it around it like that, and then the rest of the knot is pretty basic, like this. So now that you know, go out, young grasshopper, and draw Celtic knots. I've got to go. The season premiere of The Office is on. See ya.